If I had to think of three words that would describe Fair Boris Massey, I'd say he's piercingly intelligent. I would say that he's a person who is uh, entrepreneurial, and, and then I think that he's a passionate uh, supporter. I think Fari Bors exhibits uh, uh, traits of a very hardworking individual, very focused individual, and a very loyal friend. He's special because he's um, just a regular guy. Uh, he's, a, he's a guy who, who has been successful in his life, um, uh, professionally, um, as a family member, as a parent, uh, and uh, he's special because despite all of that, uh, what you see is someone who just wants to give back. I have a wonderful wife uh, uh, called Azam. Uh, we got married about uh, uh, seven years ago. And I have uh, two wonderful children, uh, my son Keda, who is six, and Pand, uh, my daughter, who is just turned four. I uh, was born and raised in Tehran, Iran, and I came from a well-to-do but not a very rich family. I was the eldest of uh, four, and I, had, uh, I have three sisters. And uh, uh, my dad, uh, uh, who is an engineer turned businessman, uh, was uh, uh, mostly at work uh, in the daytime. And I remember that I was at home um, in a household filled with women. And I remember that I uh, 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 wished sometimes that I have a brother. My favorite memories of us growing up is the a fearlessness and sense of adventure that we both shared and which would put us in a lot of trouble. We would end up either uh, breaking windows, destroying furniture, or I would end up in the urgent care, one of those. And um, I remember that I, I, uh, I liked the fact that he was always up for a challenge. Uh, he would teach me certain uh, games uh, to, just so that I can learn it fast and be uh, his challenger, you know, like playing chess. I soon ended up beating him in the games and he was a gracious loser. What I also remember is um, that uh, at school I was uh, a, a bit of a troublemaker. Uh, I was not, never the best student in any of my subjects, but I was uh, among the top 10% on a consistent basis. My best memory is when he was accepted is, uh, to the most prestigious engineering school in Tehran. And he was accepted with high honor. And uh, uh, But our celebration was short-lived because he decided to leave all that and come to Portland State University. Fari Bors impressed me with uh, his brightness, his determination to capture every word spoken in the class. For a faculty member, Fari Bors was a dream student. Certainly, uh, at the time that I was a student, uh, uh, great instructors that I had was Chick Erzurumlu and Franz Rod. Uh, both of whom uh, uh, they uh, showed uh, a very uh, a good amount of excellence uh, in their teaching, in their teaching techniques, and I think uh, looking back, I learned as much from those two individuals as I've learned from uh, just about any in my life. I thought after seeing him perform in his bachelor's degree program in structural engineering, he would be a top-notch structural engineer and will be building bridges and buildings of uh, huge significance. But I was a bit disappointed when he told me that he was gonna go and get a master's degree in mathematics. I was urging him to go to get a structural engineering doctorate at another university. But to find out that he has gone to MIT and he has enrolled in an area where there is no affinity with structural engineering, namely micro electronic mechanical devices. But this made him 
the person that he is. This journey across disciplines that don't have affinities was to me a major accomplishment. After I received my training at MIT, I uh, started developing a company based on the micro and nanotechnology called uh, IntelliSense. And uh, at the time that you know we were uh, doing uh, the so-called MEMS, which is the work of micro and nanotechnology, uh, it, that was uh, uh, just emerging as a empowering tool to uh, make uh, uh, devices or uh, products a lot smaller uh, than uh, the industry had seen. Fadi Kouris is very special. He, um, he's, uh, he's a true human being. He lends a helping hand whenever he sees somebody in, uh, in need. And that's not something that he has acquired just because uh, uh, he became successful. That's some, a characteristic that he's always had since he was a child. Um, Mom always laughs about it because when he was a toddler he would um, uh, <laughs> give away uh, our uh, utensils and our uh, electrical appliances to people that come and visit our house, you know, because they, he would think that they don't have it. We wanted to have a uh, professional vehicle uh, uh, from which we are going to make our venture investments. So uh, that's why I set aside some of my assets to uh, develop uh, the Messiah Foundation. Fari Borsmas' uh, philanthropy has impacted me not only here at Irvine, but also in my previous life as a department head and chair of the faculty at MIT. Um, there he uh, very much uh, cared about recognizing people who had helped him in his studies there, uh, also to reward good teachers and good teaching assistants. Here at Irvine he has done the same. In a position like uh, mine, I get a chance to meet lots of people. And the thing that comes through in those people who uh, I value most is the personal connection that they make and uh, the fact that they uh, truly uh, support us from not only their minds but from their hearts. And so his friendship and support on a personal and professional level have been the things that uh, are the most lastingly meaningful to me. It was my privilege to get to know uh, Dr. Massey um, in approximately 2007 when uh, we began the process and we're actually finishing the process of building the uh, Massey Chapel here at Hogue Hospital. As part of the new women's pavilion development, uh, we had always envisioned uh, the creation of a chapel that would be of service to um, the individuals who would be coming here to Hogue Hospital. In 2007, we dedicated that chapel uh, to, um, to Dr. Massey, and uh, from then on, um, we've had uh, certainly a fine relationship of, um, of uh, mutual respect uh, as leaders in this community. He made it possible for engineering and computer science faculty, student, and staff to leave their nomadic life at Portland State University. We used to be in seven disparate locations all over campus. None of our facilities was designed for our purposes. We did not have a front door. No one knew where engineering and computer science was. So, in addition of providing new facilities, new equipment, his contribution made it possible for us to have our front door at Portland State University. I uh, always believe that uh, Portland State is in an excellent shape uh, to become one of the great universities of uh, Northwest, if not in the nation. 
Historically, no uh, great city has been without a great university. And Portland State is Portland's university. And so I believe that looking forward uh, 20 years from now, Portland will be even more metropolitan, more cosmopolitan, and Portland State will uh, probably be uh, a lot larger, more sophisticated. And so to us, uh, to me, uh, it was a no-brainer.